my next task is to introduce to you a priest who was a former general secretary of the NGO Association of North America and is currently the assistant vicar of St. Thomas Indian Orthodox Church in Philadelphia, US. He took up a career in teaching science and math in the school district of Philadelphia, US. He took up a career in teaching first, but then after he had graduated from St. Vladimir's Seminary in US in 2002, as time passed, he took an active interest in campus ministry and then he founded the Way of the Cross Ministries, a ministry of the Orthodox Evangelism in the United States of America under the Metropolitan of the Northeast American Diocese. He was not yet a priest when he died the knot in July 2009. Now he is blessed with a daughter too. On March 26, 2011, he was ordained as a priest. The Way of the Cross Ministries which he founded and now he has worked in that ministry for seven years gave him the opportunity to travel extensively to preach and teach the Word of God not only within the Orthodox Church but other Christian denominations as well. This prolific speaker, youth leader, is today in our midst as the resource person for the first English Gospel Convention of the Delhi Diocese. It is my honor and equally our privilege to introduce Reverend Father Givergis John. And now, may I request Hachin to present his inaugural address. Greetings to everyone, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To His Grace, Dr. Johannon Mar Demetrius, the Metropolitan of the Delhi Diocese. To Very Reverend M.S. Maria Rambachi. To Reverend Father Philip M. Samuel. To Reverend Father Thomas Nainan. To Reverend Father Saji Johannan. And to all the priests, the clergy of the Delhi Diocese, and to the leaders of this diocese, I thank you for inviting me, I thank you for having me here to preach the Word of God within the Orthodox tradition. The governing body of the Indian Orthodox diaspora came into contact with me possibly around January. And I didn't even know this name, Diaspora, was used for young people who were born or raised outside of Kerala. But coming to know the Diaspora youth of Delhi, of Mumbai, and of the UAE, I can say that there are similar connections that we have. We go through the same trials, we go through the same issues in life. And I can say, even though I have not used the word diaspora, I proudly stand here today and say, I am a youth, a man, a priest of the diaspora. So let us inaugurate this convention, knowing that our lives have to be transformed by the gospel of Jesus Christ into a new revelation, a new way where we come closer to Jesus Christ in relationship and also closer to His Holy Orthodox Church. And so once again, I thank His Grace and all the Reverend Fathers of this diet of this analysis for inviting me to speak. Thank you. 